How a man that's trying to cheat with you, got a whole wife at home that he lived with, will get in your messages, see you at the bus stop with him. Getting your messages talking about, I knew you had somebody else. I knew I wasn't the only one. Not only are you not the only one, you're not one. You have a woman. It's not me. You take care of the next person. I'm taking care of myself. If somebody chooses to help me, you're helping her. I'm at the bus stop. My boy, I ain't gonna lie. Um, if that's your side piece, I, I want to see what your wife look like. But I've seen... Grown men with wives and kids at home break down in tears because they side piece got a side piece. <laughs> Imagine the audacity to be heartbroken because you feel as though the girl that you cheating on your family with is cheating on you. So for everybody to keep asking me about where's my six kids daddy at, let me let y'all know. So my first baby daddy, which was my first love, and he's the father of my oldest, he has transitioned from Tony to Tracy. And he is now living in Atlanta, Georgia, dressed fully as a female. And he does not want to have anything to do with his child. My second baby daddy was kicked in the chest by a horse. It gave him an instant heart attack and he died. My third baby daddy, just a deadbeat, I didn't know that he was married. And when I told him I was pregnant, he confessed to her what the situation was. And all that, she went with it, and now we're just waiting on the DNA test to come back so that they can pay child support. Well, she's going to pay child support because, as I stated, he a dad be, he ain't got no job. And by them being legally married, she works to bring in the income. She will be the one that be paying me child support. The audacity to proudly say his wife is going to be the one to pay you child support is crazy. She better divorce him. Like, what? Mm. My fourth baby daddy decided he wanted to can be a pirate and go rob the boat freights and shit like that. So he is now serving 20 years. When he gets out, my child will be 25. And my last two kids have the same father. And he is 72 years old, living in a nursing home with dementia. So for everybody to keep asking me about where's my six... <laughs> Yeah, it just progressively got worse. It just kept on getting worse. All I can say is, um, you just know how to pick them. Your radar for men is crazy. You can't blame nobody for how you ended up in them situations. That's all you and your choices. <laughs> I open my box of KFC and a rat jump out at me, I'm suing. I'm suing for every type of distress I can sue for. I would have purposely passed out and they would have to wheel me out of there on a stretcher. Even in a situation where you know a rat could possibly jump out at you, it's scary enough. So now imagine your mouth probably watering for that KFC chicken. And instead of KFC, Master Splinter jump out your box trying to karate chop you in the neck. Have y'all ever went on vacation and found out she was pregnant? <laughs> this is a trip for the books, y'all. Send me that abortion money. Send it. I'm gonna be at the clinic in the morning. I don't really know what to say about that. What I can say is, fellas, how you feel about girls' trip? You allowing your woman to go on a girls' trip? Huh? You allowing your woman to go to Jamaica and get her body rubbed down? Them Jamaican ain't professional masseuse. Now, now, one of them motherfuckers went to school for massage therapy. So now, tell me the benefits, ladies, of having these soap you down by the river. Question of the day is, why do white women like black men so much? They're sexier. <laughs> so what race do you prefer? Black men. They're sexier. <laughs> the white ladies in my comment section, do y'all feel the same way? Do you fantasize about the Mandingo Kings? I feel as though, to some extent, we fetishize 
other races. Last year, I did a video where I said I used to fantasize about taking down BBW white women. If you went through my, my search, that's what my search was. I haven't done that in a while, though, so, you know, don't judge me. But I do feel as though, you know, we we fetishize other races. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. I know a lot of people have been, like, messaging me, asking me what's going on, why I'm moving out. And it's because, like, I just found out that my husband and, like, the man that I've been with, like, since high school for, like, 12 years, like, we have two kids together. And he just, like, let me know that, like, he's gay and that he's been gay and that he's been trying to fake it, but he just can't anymore. I'm feeling so many things. I'm confused. Imagine going to the mall with your husband and then you realize that when the dudes walk by that you thought was cute, he thought they were cute, too. I'm angry. I'm sad, but I'm also happy that, like, he, I'm happy that he could, like, finally live his life and that he doesn't have to, like, hide himself anymore, but I don't know. I'm just feeling so many things. Anyways, I just want to thank everyone for their kind messages and words of, like, affirmation just because it has really helped me get through because, like, I've been with him since I was in high school. And so it's just like a lot, especially with two kids and like having to move out your whole life, like a whole life that you thought that you were going to have, that it's gone now. And it's also hard because it's like no one really understands because no one has been through this situation. Like no one that I know has been through this situation. And so it's just really hard. I just love him and. He keeps telling me how much he loves me and our kids and like he never wanted to have to like be but that he just can't like pretend anymore and I just want to be like supportive and just let him know that he has me like like still on his side and that I love him still but it's just hard at the same time because like I spent the last 12 years with him building this life. It's like just crazy that like your whole life can just change in like a day. The nights are like just so lonely and I have like the two kids to take care of. And it's like I just miss him and I miss our family so much. Woo! This one's a tear jerk. I was I had so many jokes planned. But I actually feel really sad for her. The fact that she says she still loves him and she's happy that he's able to finally be himself, that touched me. Pause. I hope that you find happiness. I also hope that even though he's out here and he's finding himself, he's still going to take care of his responsibilities because you didn't make those kids by yourself. See, I have a question for you guys who are hardcore red pill. This woman did nothing wrong. She was with her high school sweetheart. They have two kids together, and she found out that throughout their relationship, he was lying on who he really is. So now, she's single, coming with two kids. And the logic behind a woman with two kids, she's automatically disqualified. How would you categorize her? I'm curious to know. Okay, then back the fuck up my house. You do not have the right to be inside I'm my house. I will talk up. to you outside. You don't have the right to be inside. I will talk to you outside. I'm going to step outside your house. You do not have the right to be inside of my house. I'm not inside your house. You're inside yes, you, of my house. Let me tell you why I'm right here. Because you walked in. No, I'm not inside your house. Because they opened the door and ran from you. And That's I'm why. telling you I'm inside the okay, adult. And I'm here. telling you. Hey, I never seen the whole whole video but they said that the kids ain't even run from him man's literally walked up to the door knocked it they opened the door they saw that it was a cop they tried to close it and he just stood there they weren't outside this you, is my home yeah, now that i'm inside your house i own your house no, right you now yes i do wait what you know my rights i don't care if you know your rights and i'm telling my so, dog will bite you if i tell her to bite you so i'm asking you to block i'm not gonna talk to you outside. what the f do you want bring your Supervisor to my home now. You have no right to be inside because they opened the door. They're minors. I'm the adult here. This is my home. She said she's the adult. She's not the adult. She's my daughter. Get the out of my home. I'm not gonna get out of your house. Then call your supervisor right now. Or 15 minutes. And put me in a fucking ground. I fucking 
double dog dare you. This is my home, bro. You're in my house. I am telling you. You're in my house. Don't do that. You're in my house. I didn't want to do the bird. Did I touch you? Did I touch you? Oh, no, no. Did I touch you? Did I touch you? You're just going to make it worse. Damn. Yo, you heard? I did not f***ing touch you, bro. Never wait. I didn't f***ing touch you. Hey, nah, you're good. You're good. I didn't f***ing touch you. I'm going to be stopped. Did you hear the son say, stop, you can't do anything? Imagine looking at somebody do that to your mother and realizing you can't do anything. I want to hear how this plays out. In the comment section, they said that her court date is coming up pretty soon. I want to see how this plays out. You can, you can raise a child to value a dollar without making them struggle for it. Whatever, use it f***ing vocabulary you want to use. Struggle, adversity, out. whatever, trials and tribulations, whatever you want to use. Long story short, I'm not... My boy, why are you yelling? Why are you so upset? Rolling the red carpet for you. So whatever word you want to use to describe that, whatever. All I'm saying is, as a parent, I'm not rolling the red carpet for you. So you, you'll you be one of those parents that I went through it, so you got to go through it too. That's God what a parent right. you're gonna be. Not God me. Goddamn right. Not me. And good thing you're not a parent yet. <laughs> God because damn right. that is a horrible way of thinking when you when Facts. it comes to raising children. Your children's gonna grow up to hate your ass. Facts. I'm telling you now. So children what? will grow up right. and resent you and hate you because you made them struggle no, unnecessarily. You grew up with a roof. Made... You grew up with a roof over your head. I'm gonna no. No. Children need more than that. Children need more than that. And the reason, and I know you're gonna come at me for yelling, but when it comes to kids, I'm passionate about that because a lot of our parents us up Facts. and i don't think it's fair for us to turn around and give that break. to our Facts. kids no you're not break. okay you be on here going off every damn episode you're not okay i'm not okay we're not okay you don't have to raise your child to have a silver spoon in their mouth but if you have it and you raising your child to struggle that's not cool bro that creates a lot of trauma let me use myself as an example I've said this numerous times that when I went to school, I didn't have the fancy Jordan. A lot of times I was wearing my brother's hand-me-downs to school and people used to make fun of me. Imagine it's 2001 and I'm coming to school in some 1993 up-tempos, the bottom coming out. These kids is coming to school in new Jordans and new Air Force Ones and new Air Maxes and stuff like that. So now I'm in school and I wasn't a bad kid, but the only problem I literally had in school were people talking about my clothes. I became a prime target for bullying. Now, I wasn't no pussy, so I used to push back. Now, on top of that, too, my relationship in the house wasn't that good. Me and my stepmother used to get into it a lot. So I'm going through a mental battle in the household, and then I'm coming to school, and people trying to make fun of me. I've had this conversation with my pops recently, and he still don't believe it, but I was like, yo, you know, I never wanted to have every single Jordans. I didn't want to have every single nice thing that came out i just wanted to have bare minimum so i could blend in so nobody really had a reason to talk about me it wasn't like we were broke we wasn't broke i just recently found out that back in them times 2000 2001 my pops was making over a hundred k a year i didn't even know that what i would say is when i was in the house i had a laptop i was 11 with a laptop i had the xbox when it came out so i wasn't living struggling per se i was you know what i'm saying we we drove everywhere that just wasn't it i just hated going to school with with messed up ass clothes i just hate going to school just looking like a target so i'm not siding with that nonsense he's saying and my pops always used to say this thing um i'm gonna get you what you need not what you want to be honest with you i didn't want that much and this this proved my point also when I actually was getting money and I could afford to get every single Jordans that came out, I didn't do that. My last year of high school, when I started working at Burger King and I was flipping my checks, basic. I bought a pair of Jordans, I bought a pair of Air Maxes, I bought a pair of Air Force Ones. Three pairs of shoes for the school year. And I had, I ain't gonna lie, I had uh, from thousands saved up. I had some thousands because I was flipping my Burger King check, you know what I mean? I started dibble dabbling into street pharmaceuticals. And honestly, the only reason I started dibble dabbling in street pharmaceuticals was because of that. Like, that was literally my motivation. I'm like, yo, all right, folks is not finna be just making fun of me in the school and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't no lame. I wasn't no loser or nothing like that in school. But at the same time, come on, dog. I'm not gonna lie, though. The money that I saved up when I was in New York, when I went to college, I went crazy. The people who knew me my first year, when I moved to the A, Prada's. Every J's that dropped in 2008, your boy had them. At that time, they had the specialized Air Force Ones. Your boy had them. They had them Air Max, some nice ass Air Max 95s. Your boy had them. I say all that to say, do not have your kids struggling for no reason. You're not proving a point. There's ways to make your kids understand the value of a dollar without having them struggle.